What's going on, YouTube? This is Boxing Wave. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Boxing Wave 10. You can definitely just hit me directly on both of my social media accounts. Now, um, tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus, the streaming service, not on regular ESPN. We all know we got Mike Tyson against Roy Jones. But if you're looking to find, well, if you're looking to watch some boxing, heavyweight boxers, active top heavyweights in the division um check this fight out joe joyce against daniel dubois this fight has been uh this fight has been building up for a pretty long time now all right so um i'm glad to see it finally get it you know and uh with all the delays and all i'm glad that we're finally getting this fight uh they're both undefeated as professionals Joe Joyce is by far the more experienced boxer, both in a professional and as an amateur. He was Olympian. He fought in the finals in the Olympics. And back in 2016, I believe, he lost to Tony Yoka in the finals in a fight that I actually thought he won. But um, Joe Joyce, much older. Okay, Daniel Dubois is in his early 20s where we have... Uh, Joe Joyce is kind of pushing his mid-30s at this point. So he has to get it going right now. You know, and um, this is the thing. Daniel Dubois, younger, fresher. I even think he's more polished already than Joe Joyce. You know, um, I just like what he brings in this fight more. You know, I think it favors him from a stylistic standpoint, even though Joyce has been around a lot longer. Um... You know, these guys, neither one of them are the most technically sound heavyweights. Neither one of them, okay? But um, they both are big heavyweights. They both hit very hard. They are knockout artists. Um, but Daniel Dubois is faster. Um, his, his, his punches are just more crisp. You know, they are straighter. Um, I think he works behind his jab better, okay? Uh, doesn't have many tools, but he has a very good one too. He's very aggressive, okay? He's physically strong. And um, being that Joe Joyce, you know, everyone talks about his speed and everything, um, his lack of speed. He is very slow. He is very slow. He hits very hard. Um, he does bring a lot of pressure he is a high volume puncher. He's going to stay on your neck the whole fight. But he's going to be forced to back up in this fight, I think. You know, um, I don't know what approach he's going to take. I think he should take the, pro the approach where he needs to stand his ground early, you know, and establish some kind of uh, control early because you don't want Dubois just coming forward the entire time. All right. But unfortunately, when it comes to Joe Joyce, he's not a counterpuncher, okay? He's not going to be like Nathan Gorman and trying to time him with a hook, all right? Um, he's not any of that, and he's not, he's terrible at his defense. Neither one of them are great, but at least, at least Daniel DeBall, he keeps his, his guard up, you know? He does block a lot of shots with his clubs. I mean, he doesn't have to, he doesn't, like has those twitch-like reflexes, you know. He's not going to be slipping shots all crazy and, and countering, but he does keep his guard up, all right? And, um, you know, he showed to me in that Gorman fight that he knew the counter was coming, and he adjusted his jab, you know. He started doubling up on it, tripling up on it, and Gorman couldn't really time him properly for that counter. Um, and and it, that at least showed me, because a lot of people think he's just some brute that's coming forward and throwing powerful punches. For the most part, he is. All right. But he is aware enough to know when he's being timed, you know, when his opponent is trying to counter him. All right. And he can he can predict some of the shots that's coming along, even when he's on the inside. So Joyce, on the other hand, if he's not in control in full control offensively, I really don't know how much he got. Like, can he fight on a back foot? You know, can he really do that? And 
even though he's fought some names and some former champions like Berman Stavern, who is far past it, far past it. And even when he was in his prime, he never really was that great. He beat Chris Ariola twice. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But it was a very, very end of a very weak heavyweight division. You know, a lot of guys that were fighting around that time, Klitschko already dominated the majority of them outside a few people. There wasn't really that many fighters out there when Stavern won that fight. And he fought a Stavern that lost to Wilder that was pretty much a shell of himself who wasn't really that good to begin with. All right. And beat him. Stavern, low, low volume guy, good counter up, has power, but his punch output is just too low. And Joe Joyce, your punch output is, is it, it, an opponent like that is tailor-made for someone like Joe Joyce. And this is why he got that stoppage and looked so good in that fight. Thing with Brian Jennings, another good opponent, solid opponent, been in there with Klitschko, been in there with Ortiz, been in there with Oscar Viras. He's been in there with some good fighters, okay? He gave, uh, I think he gave... Uh, who is the Polish fighter? Spilka, Arthur Spilka. I think he gave him his first loss with the pressure he put on there. Worked the body well. I remember that fight. Uh, but the thing with Brian Jennings, he was never really a puncher. All right, He's not a bigger welterweight. And he doesn't have that much experience. He kind of did time. I believe he did like time in prison. And then he came out and I think he was boxing for like five years before reaching the top at the heavyweight division. So he was able to do great things in a short period of time. But once he started fighting the, the elite fighters at the heavyweight division, that lack of experience showed. And he is a, he, he works, but he's not a knockout artist. He's not a big puncher. And being that Joe Joyce is a bigger, more durable fighter, he was able to come forward as he pleased. Uh, I don't think Joyce got the stoppage of that fight, but Brian Jennings was mainly really surviving in that fight. He wasn't really doing much to win rounds. You get what I'm saying? So, um... There's no opponent there that Joe Joyce has faced that is similar to Dubois. You know, I think Dubois is just going to be too strong. And I can say the same about Dubois. I mean, he hasn't, you know, fighting Larte and Gorman. Yeah, I mean, they're good fighters. But at least in a Larte fight, Larte brought the fight to him. You know, I mean, he stood his ground and banged with him. And it was a very excited war for the time that it lasted. Uh, this could be that fight as well. Joe Joyce, yes, again, he's more durable. He probably hits a lot harder. He is bigger and some more experienced than uh, Larte was. But still, defense is, is too poor for me. And Joe Joyce is probably like the slowest top heavyweight there is right now. He's extremely slow. All right. And I think Joe Joyce, I mean, I think uh, Daniel Dubois is going to see the punches coming. You know, he's got to see it coming, and I think this fight is really just set up to make Dubois look good. I mean, I don't think this is like a 50-50. I don't think this is like a mismatch or anything like that. I'm not going that far, all right? Uh, Joyce could win, but I think stylistically, I think this is going to look make Daniel Dubois look very good against an experienced fighter, a guy that can probably beat a lot of other heavyweights. Joe Joyce can beat a lot of top heavyweights. I think fighters that he hasn't fought, I think he could. But I think this style is like all wrong for him. And Daniel Dubois, Dubois is going to smoke him, in my opinion. All right. Uh, I don't know how early, but I think we're probably going to get a stoppage. And if we don't get a stoppage, I still think Dubois is going to win unanimously on points. All right. But um, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Should be a good fight. I think if Dubois loses, I think a lot of people are expecting him to run out of stamina. Okay. I think he's so, a lot of people see that he's so aggressive. It's just that when he tires out, Joe Joyce could take over. And that's a huge possibility. It's a huge possibility. But I'm leaning more towards Dubois because how many of those punches is Joe Joyce going to take? You know, a guy that we know has suspect defense. I mean, he's very durable, and that's cool. But he ain't fight a puncher like Dubois yet. All right? But, yeah, I can see Joyce, you know, waiting it out, weathering the storm, and taking over in the second half of the fight. 
I can definitely see that and possibly be possibly getting a stoppage itself. I mean, he hits hard too. So if he is to land a big shot and set up a counter that I just wouldn't expect to see, maybe there has there's tools. Maybe I don't know. Maybe Joyce has been fighting his opponents at their level. So maybe he can level up in this fight and, and bring me something that I haven't seen. But from what I've seen so far, I think du Dubois got it. And I think Dubois is going to smoke him, right? So the fight is going to be tomorrow, ESPN in the afternoon. I won't be covering, I, at least if I am to cover that fight live, I'll jump on later before the main event. But I will let you guys know. You guys will see me if I am able to jump on that uh, fight. All right? So anyway, um, make sure... Not tomorrow. I'm I'm sorry. The fight is Saturday. The fight is Saturday. Today is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm Saturday. The fight is Saturday, um, 2 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus, the streaming service, not regular ESPN. All right. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.